Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing another tag and this is the makeup mess tag and I was tagged in this by Kat from Rented Fashion so I will obviously leave a link down to her channel down below and thank you so much to Kat for tagging me in this. I always think tags are fun so um, I'm also going to be leaving a list of people that I tag um, in the description. I forgot what it was called for a second but I think it's also appropriate that my hair is kind of a mess today, like my bangs need to be cut <laughs> really bad. They're kind of a mess. They don't know what's going on. So I'm like, yeah, it's kind of appropriate to film this right before I cut my bangs. But um, yeah, there are 15 questions in this. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first question is, how often do you wash your makeup brushes slash sponge? Sponges. Uh... I'm very bad about this. I try to do it at least once a week. I'm definitely, I definitely clean my brushes more than my sponges. I don't know what it is, but with my sponges, I tend to forget. I don't know if this is just because, well, like, when I was younger, makeup sponges weren't really a thing, like beauty blenders and stuff, like, but sponge, not sponges, but uh, brushes have kind of always been around. So I don't know if that's why I always remember brushes, but not sponges. But yeah, should probably clean them more often than I do. I know, it's gross. I'm sorry. The next one is, how do you organize your makeup collection? So I do have this vanity right behind me, and then I have, like, the Alex Ikea drawers. That's what this is over here. Um, and I definitely have them organized by sections, like, you know, all my concealers together, all my foundations together, and all of that. And um, whenever I do my makeup, I do put things back, like, as I use them. <laughs> I don't have an everyday makeup drawer. I know a lot of people do. I just don't. I don't know why. I don't know, um, but I'm very organized with my makeup. Like if I opened up all my drawers, you could see that it's organized. Um, I'm just an organized person and I put things away as I use them. So yeah, my vanity is actually pretty good as far as cleanliness goes. Number three is do you put your makeup products away after you are done using them or leave them out for tomorrow? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, so I put them away. I kind of already answered that. Um, yeah, I put them away as I'm using them, like not even like once I'm done, like I don't use it all, like I have it all on my desk and then put it away, I put it away as I use it. And I like have the drawer open that it goes in, if that makes any sense. Like I open the drawer, get out what I need, use it, put it back. Um, yeah. <laughs> Number four is loose or pressed powders. Um, definitely pressed because loose tend to be messy and I mean, Sometimes I'm already wearing what I want to wear for the day and if I'm wearing if I'm using a loose powder And it gets on whatever I'm wearing especially if it's black that can be really annoying. So, um, I definitely prefer Press I still have some loose powder things in my collection, but I had to choose definitely pressed Number five is do you ever fall asleep without taking off your makeup? No <laughs> That is like daily routine for me even if I'm like, you know in bed and I'm like drifting um, and my makeup isn't off I'm like okay no you have to go take off your makeup which most of the time doesn't happen like most of the time if I'm gonna go lay in bed um like I have a routine when I go to sleep you know like I take off my makeup and I do my skincare and I do this that, and the other then I lay in bed and read a book like that's what I do and I don't have screen time past like a certain time you know um <laughs> but yeah Number six is what makeup rules do you like to break? I kind of had the same response as Kat where I was like, there are rules? What rules? Um, I don't know. I remember somebody saying when I was in college that like red lipstick's only for um, special occasions and I quite like my red lipstick today and I'm not wearing a red. I went kind of vampy. But um, yeah, I know some people that think you can only wear red lipsticks for like certain occasions and I'm like, I wear red lipstick every day of my life. I don't care like where I'm going. Um, <laughs> lipstick in general I, I wear every day, but I mean, red lipstick especially, I'm like, why, I like, that's my every day, and I feel like there shouldn't be, like, a rule about what's your every day, you know, like, if blue lipstick is your every day, like, go for it, um, so, that's like a rule that I break, but I mean, I don't know what kind of rules there are, are there makeup rules, overlords, I don't know, that's just what I thought of. Number seven is, will you use a product even if it's cracked or broken? Um, 
yeah. <laughs> I now know how to fix things, so it's not as bad, but I mean, even before I knew how to fix things, I would still use it, especially, you know, if it was expensive, because I'm like, I paid for it, and I want to use it, so I mean, but I mean, now I just fix things. Number eight is, do you wait to pan a product completely before you replace it? Um, yeah, I mean, unless it goes bad, because <laughs> obviously if it goes bad, I'm not going to put it on my face, but um, I do wait until a product is used up or whatever to replace it. I do have makeup, like, backups, but I never have, like, two of the same thing open at once. I don't even like to have a lot of mascaras open at once, even of different brands, um, just because that will drive me nuts. Um, I like to use up things for sure. I don't have, like, multiple of one thing open at a time. I use it up and then get another one. Number nine is, do you feel, how do you feel about sharing makeup? Um, I will share, like, my face products and stuff with, you know, friends and family, but I never share eye products, like, with anybody, like, not even my sister. Like, if my sister was like, hey, could I borrow your mascara? I'd be like, no. I just think it's really gross to borrow eye makeup from other people, quite frankly. Um, it grosses me out. So, I mean, you could really be my sister or my mom, and I'd be like, no. Don't touch my eye makeup. Um, but I feel like most people know that about like, me. Like, my my uh, sister knows that. Like, if she ever tries to use my makeup, she's like, I know. Don't touch your eye makeup. I'm like, no. It's gross. Don't use my eye makeup. It's just gross to me. Number 10 is how do you feel about buying or trading used makeup? Um, I've definitely bought used makeup before. I've traded used makeup. Um, I sell on, like, Poshmark and Mercari. I never know how to pronounce it. Um... And I've bought used makeup on those before, so I definitely don't have anything against it. Um, I always sanitize things. <laughs> um, if I'm selling it and if I buy it, I'm going to sanitize it just because if it comes from somewhere I don't know, I'm like, I don't know realistically where this has been. Um, so san sanitize for sure. Um, but I mean, I don't have anything against it. I mean, there's no point in wasting it. You know, if you can give it to somebody else, I don't really care if it's used. As long as it's not, like, a mascara. I just thought of that. Like, would you buy used mascara? Uh, have I given my sister used mascara? I don't think I have. I feel like even if I don't like a mascara, I'll use it up. Just, just to use it up. But, yeah, I wouldn't buy used mascara. I don't even know if you can... You can't sanitize that. Mmm, no, because you, like, swipe it on, and then it goes back in there, and then you... No. Mmm, no, I wouldn't get used mascara, no. Number 11 is how often do you declutter makeup? So I used to just go through like my entire collection and declutter and now I'm doing a declutter series so I can share it with you guys. So now I'm doing a declutter a week where I go through different portions of my collection. Um, and I definitely like doing it this way. I feel like I declutter more this way, honestly, than when I just go through my collection because I have it in front of me and I can see exactly like how much I'm getting rid of and how much I'm keeping. And it makes me declutter more. And I like that because it's like, I don't need that much makeup. <laughs> Number 12 is, do you use your fingers to apply makeup? Yes. Um, I use my fingers when I'm putting on primer. I know some people use brushes and whatnot. I always just use my fingers. Um, and then if I am using like a liquid highlighter or a, um, most of the time when I put a shimmery shade all over my eyelid, I use my fingers. I just don't bother with a brush. Um, I don't bother like spraying a brush or anything. I just like, I just, I just go in with my finger. Um, I think that's it. I used to always do my foundation with my fingers as well. Now I use a sponge. Before sponges, I used my hands. I was just like, now it just seems weird to me. Like, how would I do that? Because I'm so used to my sponge. But yeah, I definitely use my fingers when I'm doing my makeup. What products, if any, do you hoard in your purse, slash bag, slash backpack, etc.? Um, I think lipstick is really the only thing I hoard. Um, I don't tend to take, like, concealer or mascara or anything with me. I tend to just take my lipstick. Like, I don't really retouch my makeup throughout the day besides my lipstick, especially a shade like this because you know this is, like, gonna move or something because it's a vampy shade. But, um, yeah, I feel like the longer I'm talking, the longer my bangs are getting. Is that just me? Like, I feel like it's more in my eyes now 
what it, they're actually a mess. Um, <laughs> anyways, what on earth was I talking about? I just distracted myself. Yeah, I think lipstick is the only thing I really declutter, not declutter, um, hoard in my purse. And I will mostly notice that when I go look for a certain shade and I'm like, where is this? It's in my purse. And then I'll pull out like, you know, 10 different lipsticks. I'm like, I need to put these away. Number 14 is what is your least favorite step in your makeup routine? I don't know if I really have one. I never do my eyebrows. I know you can't see them because of the bangs, but I never do them like even when they're not covered by my bangs. I never do my brows. Um, I don't, I don't think I have a least favorite. No. <laughs> I feel like if there was something about the process I didn't like, I wouldn't do it. Like, I used to do my eyebrows, and I really hated it, so I was just like, eh, screw it. I'm not going to do it anymore. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, if something annoys me, I'm just like, meh, not going to do it. So I don't really have a least favorite part of doing my makeup. I quite like putting on my makeup, and if there's a process I don't like, I tend to not do it. I don't like doing wing liner. I don't do it very often because of that, but every once in a while I'm feeling feisty and I'll do it. So I guess wing liner, but I don't do it often. And when I say that, I mean like maybe once a month I do it. The very last question is, what is your worst makeup memory? Um, and as soon as I heard this, I had a very... Um, specific story. I don't know how young I was. I think elementary school, but um, I had found my mom's blush and I decided to put it on and I kind of like did it like a doll's makeup. Like I kind of just did circles on my cheeks. <laughs> Not even on the apples of my cheeks, like right in the middle of my cheeks. And um, my mom didn't notice this until we stopped at like a gas station and she was just like, you need to go get that off your face like go wash that off your face um and I remember like walking inside um to get it off my face and like people looking at me and I was just like I was like all right so that's apparently not how you wear blush cool beans yeah that is now it for this video um so yeah I will have a list of people down below and if you guys do have a channel and you want to do this video and you um aren't listed below still let us know if you're gonna do it because I love watching these kinds of videos and as usual if you did like this video please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz you can follow me on twitter and instagram my links are the thingamajigger thank you so much for watching and I will see you later bye